Good morning from the old Medina of Susa. It's Sunday, so there is a Sunday rural market not too far from Susa, about 30 minutes drive. And so I'm just walking to find uh, some public transportation and figure out how I can get to the Sunday market of Susa. They are called the Nakhl Rifi, I believe, and they are mode of transportation that you can take to get to rural areas. They are yellow with the blue stripe. And I'm so excited to go and see what this market looks like, and I'm super excited to share that adventure with you. Win sok. It's really packed. It looks like the clothes market. Probably a lot of second-hand clothing. And there are a bunch of uh, stands for food. Uh, there's a lot more uh, clothing and kitchen supplies, shoes, but I think there's actually even more all the way down here. It's not all secondhand, but I think this section is probably all secondhand clothing. But then most of uh, the vendors right here, it's actually everything is new. And I'm trying to find where all the produce is because that's what I'm personally more excited about. So let's see if we can find that. Got a bunch of grains. Wheat, chickpeas. This is a liquid cleaner for floors mostly, I think. So you can ask for either like five liters or, you know, instead of going for a branded one, you can just buy bulk from here. Pretty neat. This is turmeric, cinnamon and cloves, garlic. Just had uh, some of the sweets here. This is uh, pretty common in uh, rural markets all around North Africa. We do have the same in Morocco as well. So I just got a bunch myself and I'm very excited to try them. It turned out it's uh, mostly fruit, vegetables, and a lot of clothes and kitchen supplies. I was hoping that they probably sell some uh, meat because uh, rural markets in Morocco, I'm used to them, you know, just having slaughters the day of the market and then you can buy meat, you can grill it, barbecue and everything happening in the same spot. But it doesn't seem like it's the same case here. It's just fruit and vegetables and clothes. What, but still, still very, very neat. Very busy too. This is uh, the root of the fennel, which uh, I'm used to just getting rid of the whole thing. <laughs> but it seems like they keep it and they probably use it in the Tunisian cuisine, which is pretty good. They do sell the fennel as a snack in, uh, in Tunisia, just all around. They add some salt, lemon juice, and it's really, really good. But I'm curious what they use the roots for. A lot of clothing for babies. Some uh, bread. It's supposed to 
see sweet bread. I haven't tried it before. And it's uh, three pieces for one dinar. Tunisia is also supposed to have some of the best dates in Africa. So I'm going to wrap up my adventure here in the market by grabbing some dates to snack on for the day and then just find my transport to make my way back to the city of Susa. It's uh, quite busy out here. I will be grabbing one of these bad boys. These are the public transports of rural areas that I was talking about earlier.